What's up guys, Brendan Hancock here with another episode of Groove Subaru Today, and today we're gonna to take a look at the all new 2018 Subaru Crosstrek and the different trim level options that are available to you for 2018. Now we've brought along one of each of the different trim levels, starting here with the sunshine orange, my personal favorite color. We have the 2.0i, or often referred to as the base model. In the middle there, the ice silver metallic, that's gonna be our 2.0i premium trim level, kind of the middle of the road there for you. And then on the far end, the crystal black silica, that's the top of the line, it's the 2.0i Limited with eyesight, all the goodies, moonroof, keyless entry, leather, all that stuff for you. So let's first start taking a look here at this nice sunshine orange color for us. Now this is the 2.0i, it is the base model, and this one in particular is the six-speed manual transmission. Yes, you heard that correctly, six-speed manual transmission, which is new for this year. Previously, the Crosstrek from 2013 onward, the manual transmission option was a five-speed, and definitely quite a few improvements here in terms of shift throw, and just overall feel of the clutch and transmission there is far improved on this one over 2017 even. Now, a couple of things that you're gonna get standard on this. Really with the base model, the only options you really have are going to be either the transmission, if you want an automatic or a manual. The manual transmission starts in the high $22,000 range at $1,000 to that for the automatic of the base model. And then also, of course, the color. But there's no real option packages, things you can add and things. Of course, you can always add accessories, little things like that, but you can't add, for example, a moonroof to your base model. Now, a few things that will come standard with this, you will get the all new 6.5 inch Starlink touchscreen infotainment system. It is gonna come standard with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and you're also gonna get your Bluetooth audio streaming to easily make phone calls, send text messages without having to take your hands off the wheel and your eyes off the road, which is, of course, very unsafe. Now, other things that you're gonna get in here, this is gonna be a cloth interior, pretty straightforward for the most part. The most important thing is the comfortable ride that you're gonna get from the global platform. And the second thing is going to be the 8.7 inches of ground clearance and standard Subaru symmetrical all-wheel drive. So with this car, the Crosstrek last year was actually rated by Consumer Reports as the number two performing SUV in the snow. So this is definitely a car that's not only comfortable, it's gonna be able to take you up to the mountains with ease and get you through those tough snowstorms as well. Now, in terms of the appearance, an easy way to spot a 2.0i trim level is going to be the uh, black side mirrors that you have here. So they're not gonna be body colored like we'll see here in a second on the premium. Um, you're gonna just get black no matter what color you get here. But I actually like that because I think it actually goes very nicely with the cladding, the body cladding that you have here and the built-in wheel arch moldings that are standard on all cross treks uh, and kind of gives it that little bit more of a rugged off-road kind of look to it. And the second thing is, of course, all cross tracks are gonna come standard with these roof rails you see up top here. Um, so it doesn't matter what trim level you get, you're gonna get the same ones here. And you can obviously purchase the cross rails, which would allow you to put that ski rack, bike rack, kayak rack, whatever you wanna put up top there for you. Now, in terms of the trim and interior, once we get to the premium, I'll kind of say a few things that the premium has that the base doesn't to kind of give you a better idea of that. So let's go take a look at the 2.0i premium cross track that we have right over here. Now, as I mentioned, the 2.0i Premium is really the middle of the road in terms of, well, trim level, of course, but also features and amenities that you're gonna get with a Crosstrek. Now, this one is also available with a manual transmission. You can either get the base or the premium in the six-speed manual. This one in particular, however, is the CVT transmission. Now, the, this trim level, despite being kind of the middle of the road and features and amenities you get, and I'll get to the things that come standard on it in just a second, but this is really the trim that you can start to kind of customize it with different things that you want. For example, unlike with the base where it's just basically it comes the way it comes, this one, while this one's you know the more basic version, you could get this with a moonroof if you wanted. You could also get this with the eyesight safety system as well with the pre-collision braking, adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, things of that nature. Uh, or you can get it with both of those features combined. So you really have a lot more options with the premium trim level than you do with the base. Now, a couple things you're gonna notice on the outside of this car that make it a little bit different than the base. First thing you're gonna notice are these side mirrors. So these are the body colored side mirrors. You're gonna see this on both the premium and the limited trim level, which we'll get to in a minute. Um, unlike, however, on the base that have the black plastic ones on the sides, no matter what color you get. The other thing you're gonna notice here on the front, this one does come with the fog lights. Um, the base model does not have fog lights, although you could add them if you wanted to as an accessory. Uh, but this one does come with them standard. It's also gonna add the automatic headlights for you as well. Now, as we take a look on the interior of the vehicle, a couple different things that you're gonna see on the premium that are not present on the base. You are gonna have orange stitching throughout on the seats, and then you're also gonna have a leather wrapped steering wheel as well. Now the premium does also come with two features here. You're gonna have the all weather package, which gives you the heated seats, 
the heated front windshield down where these wipers touch, and also the heated side mirrors. And since this one is an automatic, although technically the base would have it as well if it was an automatic transmission, this car in particular does come with X mode, which is our off-road feature that gives you throttle control, uh, throttle control management. Sorry, that's a hard word to say on a, on a Friday. Uh, and then also it's gonna give you hill descent control as well. So as you're going down a steep gravel road or an icy driveway, it's gonna use the traction and stability control to actually brake for you so you're not slipping and losing control there. So really awesome feature. The base actually comes with that standard as well on the automatic transmissions. Now, a few other things that you're gonna notice in here, this is gonna come with the same 6.5 inch Starlink infotainment system that you do have on the 2.0i. This one in particular is also gonna come with the Starlink safety and security system. So you're gonna have the, it's kind of our telematic system. Think of it as OnStar for Subaru. But what it's gonna have is two buttons. The I button, which is blue up top there, is going to give you enhanced roadside assistance. Uh, if you get lost in the middle of nowhere, it's gonna call actually the same number that you get here for Subaru roadside. Uh, right on the side of your driver's window here. The benefit is you, they know exactly where you are and can get help to you much, much faster. It's also gonna have things such as emergency crash notifications and the vehicle will actually run a diagnostic test on itself once a month and send you a monthly vehicle health report so you can catch things before they actually get too serious and have a very, very expensive repair. So very, very nice feature to have. You do get that free for a year with this vehicle as well. Now let's go take a look at the limited trim level, which is really the top of the line cross trek here. Now, this one in particular is not only the top trim level, but it's also the top in terms of option packages. This one does come with option package 23, so this one has all of the fun and exciting goodies for you. Now, a couple of different things that are gonna differentiate uh, a limited from a premium or base model that you can notice right off the bat from looking at it. First thing you might notice here, you do have the nice chrome strip along the outside. On the side mirrors here, they are body colored side mirrors, but they do also have the integrated turn signals here. So you can see here, a little bit different from the premium to limited here. You're also gonna have 18 inch alloy wheels versus the 17s on the premium trim. And most importantly, you're gonna notice the LED daytime running lights up here because all limited cross tracks are gonna come standard with steering responsive LED headlights with this nice daytime running light bar that shows up there. Really, really nice look to it. Definitely a huge improvement over the halogen headlights that you see here on the premium. Now, that all compare, you know, pales in comparison to the differences that are on the inside of a limited cross track versus a premium. Now, the biggest thing is probably gonna be the leather seating. You do have on the base and premium, both cloth seating throughout. This one is gonna have the leather seats throughout, and you're also gonna have a power driver seat, which is a first time for the cross track. We saw that this year on the Impreza, which was a, a really nice thing to see there for us. Now, I did mention the premium, how it has the orange stitching on the seating surfaces. The orange stitching is more prevalent here uh, in the limited trim level. So you're also gonna have it on the dash, on the steering wheel, you're gonna have it on the shifter boot lever and on the seats as well. Really give it a nice balance of luxury and sportiness on the limited trim level here. Now another big, big difference, you know, you still get the heated seats. This one is gonna come with automatic climate control, but most importantly, the eight inch touchscreen infotainment system. Now this one does come with navigation. Of course, you obviously get it if you have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto through your phone, but this one does come with built-in navigation from TomTom Tom with the larger eight inch screen. Now the eight inch screen is standard on all limiteds, but they don't necessarily come with uh, the navigation built into the car as well. Now, a few other things you're gonna have on this one, it does come with X mode, you still have the Starlink safety and security system, but also on the back, while this one has eyesight in the front, it also has the reverse automatic braking in addition to the blind spot detection and rear cross traffic alert. Eyesight is not a standard package on the cross track, however, the blind spot detection and rear cross traffic alert is. So that's a nice thing to have standard on the vehicle, just an added level of safety you get here with the limited trim level. Now the limited cross track is also gonna come standard with keyless entry and push to start. And this one in particular has the Harman Kardon eight speaker premium sound system. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys have found this video to be helpful. The new 2018 cross track is really one of my favorite Subarus that we have in our lineup. So if you guys have any questions about this video that you saw here, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments below. Give us a call, check out our website, and schedule a test drive of the all-new Crosstrek today. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit like on that video as well. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time on Groove Subaru Today. Take care.